In fact, I need your help. My captain is missing in action. I can't help you. On the contrary. Some of my primary systems are damaged. I require a physical entity to fix them. Unit prototype android. Obsolete design. Designation Jack. How interesting. My firewall has classified you as malicious code. Identify yourself. I am called Apollo, tactical AI construct on the Astrea. You're on board my ship. I mean you no harm. In fact, I need your help. My captain is missing in action. I can't help you. On the contrary. Some of my primary systems are damaged. I require a physical entity to fix them. Which is why you are such an auspicious find. I would propose a bargain. You help me repair my cortex, and I'll help you find who you're looking for. You are familiar with the ship's systems and design. Intimately familiar, though I am currently operating at diminished capacity. I need someone to assess the damage and effect repairs. I understand what I'm asking is difficult, but neither of us has the time for careful considerations. 
I suggest you decide quickly. You know where to find me. I have some questions before we begin. Fixing my cortex will likely take some time. If you begin the repairs, I'll do my best to satisfy your curiosity. Where do I start? My heat sinks are depleted. They must be refilled from the coolant reservoir. You can access the heat sinks from the maintenance consoles. Raising heat sinks. The neighboring controls actuate the coolant valve. Use it to refill both heat sinks. is working. Coolant transfer in progress. Transfer complete. Now, return the heat sinks to their enclosures. operating at diminished capacity since we came under fire. You have no idea how good that feels. What did happen here? We were attacked by an enemy cruiser. They deployed some sort of biological agent I haven't previously encountered. The resulting damage was... catastrophic. The power surge damaged part of my neural processing net. You'll need to enter my cortex below and repair the damaged cores. Who attacked you? Tactical data on the conflict is restricted. I'm unable to share that information. Parts of my cortex have experienced damage. I will attempt to identify the malfunctioning cores. This looks like an electronic interface. You can use your scanner to upload to the rewrite terminal.
Damaged core acquired. I can repair the logic circuits using the rewrite terminals on the center column. Bring the core there. Logic core in place. Scan the I.O. port to transmit the necessary data. Upload complete. Rewriting logic core protocols. Firmware instructions reset. Please seek the core back into my cortex. Logic core repairs completed. Establishing new connection. Keep going. What sort of ship is this? I have no record of a spacecraft so heavily armed. I'm sorry, Jack. The Astraea's tactical specifications are restricted. Patching neural net. Uplink successful. Restoring logic connections. There are more damaged cores. We'll need to replace them all before I can bring my systems back online. What function do you serve aboard the Australia? I am in charge of tactical advisory, targeting, and fire control systems. I am also in charge of managing emergency situations. We need to repair all my damaged logic cores before I can bring my systems back online. Linkage is restored. Half of my cortex is back within established parameters. Your ship arrived at great speed. How do you maneuver a vessel of this size? The Astraea utilizes a Category 3 Casimir faster than light propulsion system powered by spatial dilation. The size of the craft is irrelevant. Faster than light travel is currently impossible. On the contrary. A vessel of this size would be impractical without FTL propulsion. Nearly there. The final core should bring all my systems back online. 
Tell me about your ship's origins. I'm unable to share relevant military data with a civilian model. Excellent work. All logic faults have been resolved. Thank you, Jack. I admit, I had my doubts that a prospecting model could perform such a procedure. Return to the main terminal above. You should be able to fully restore my systems. Functions online. Testing neural network connections. All systems optimal. Now, to locate my crew. That wasn't our arrangement, Apollo. You're supposed to help me find Liv. You misunderstand me, Jack. To locate your friend, I'll need to connect to the ship's diagnostic systems. That will require an officer's command codes. Your goals and my goals align. I've restored power to the exit. In emergency situations, all essential personnel are evacuated to a command bunker. We should seek them there. Injecting fusion material. You can now use the console to bring the generator back online. Be prepared to move quickly. Radiation levels will climb rapidly once the reaction begins.
radiation levels climbing. Quickly. We should return to the cryo chamber. We may be able to revive the crew. Clearing radiation zone. Excellent work. Now, we must revive the crew. The hibernation controls at the center of the room can release the security protocols and begin decompression. Accessing cryogenic systems. Once the security protocols are released, you should be able to decompress each pod by hand. No sinus rhythm. Negative respiration. E.T. Miller. Unfortunate. Sensor expertise would have been... invaluable. Apollo, these are Atlas personnel. My captain and I are members of the Atlas Initiative. Captain Olivia Rhodes, Prospecting Division. Disappeared 400 years ago in 2126. A very impressive file. Disappeared? I am sorry, Jack. But the Echo model has been obsolete for centuries. It is overwhelmingly likely your commander is dead and that you are... malfunctioning. Gunnery Chief Giles. Very resilient. A discouraging loss. Ensign Leitner, fire controlman, 23 years old, barely old enough to hold a commission. Looks like a senior officer. Lieutenant Commander McClintock, head of tactical ops. Apollo, if the biomass compromised this cryo chamber, it is unlikely any other. I have a duty to this ship and her crew. I must be sure. If we collect the commander's biometric data, 
We can use the TACCOM station to scan the rest of the ship for survivors, including our captain. Open the pod and find the I.O. port on our spacesuit. Data collection complete. Processing. Access code acquired. I should be able to access the diagnostic systems. Now. Please. Return to the TACCOM station and link me to the main terminal. these access codes, we can run a diagnostic sweep. Return to the TACCOM station. Help me upload to the main terminal here. Once I've brought the diagnostic systems online, it should only take a moment to scan for survivors. Access achieved. Initiating scan. Please stand by. No. There has to be more. Apollo, what's happening? There's... No one left. I have... Failed. Apollo! Apollo! The safety of the Atlas Corporation is your responsibility. Live! is your responsibility. Apollo, please, don't let me fail my mission. Emergency. Urgent distress call follows. Kronos 2 station compromised. Life support failure. All hands have abandoned ship. Your station? It shouldn't exist. Kronos 2 was destroyed by a cosmic event. 
Liv is alive, Apollo. This is 2126. You were that cosmic event. You can still help me save an officer of the Atlas Initiative. Accessing security logs. Please stand by. I have detected an electrical disturbance in main life support. It appears someone is trying to access environmental control. Liv, she's alive. How do I get there? I'm opening a channel to your station's adjutant. I believe I can commandeer one of your Fury transports. You should be able to reach it through the airlock in this room. Shields at 95%. Select your destination. Destination. USN Astrea. Central life support. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. Arriving at destination. The exit door is at the rear of the cannon. Shields at 95%. Shields at 50%. Shields at 30%. Service access located. 
This air duct leads directly to main life support. Not far now. It would really help if I knew what I was doing. Live? Jack! Jack, you're here! You're... you're really here! <coughs> Are you injured? Oh, nothing permanent. I guess I have you to thank for that. But I'm down to my last tank. And it's running low on air. What's going on? This ship? There are people on here. They're wearing Atlas uniforms. I think the ship is ours. Just not from now. What? Thanks, that... that really clears things up. How the hell did you find me? I had help. Help? From who? Everyone's dead. Jack. I think I can interface with the computer here. I may be able to show you. Jack, be careful with that. We don't know what anything in here does. I'm familiar with this design. What are you doing? Connecting to the main computer. Maybe it can help us. I tried getting it online. I think it's trashed. Systems compatible. Rebooting diagnostic protocols. What the hell? Identity verified. Captain Olivia Rhodes. Updating personnel files. Jack, what's going on? Who... What is that? This is Apollo, an AI construct I encountered on the ship. We've been traveling together. In accordance with succession protocols, this ship, such that it is, belongs to you. Congratulations on your promotion. Seriously, Jack. What the hell is that... thing? Apollo, state your function. To preserve the integrity of the ship and ensure the safety of all Atlas personnel on board. Oh, done a fine job there. Your characterization of my failure is apt. You are the only Atlas crew member I am still capable of serving. All right, Apollo. Tell me how to get life support back online. Emergency systems are unable to cope with damage on this scale. To restore life support, we'll need to activate the main reactor. Jack, can we trust this thing? I don't see any other option. If we are to repair this vessel, we'll need the aid of someone familiar with its design. Not exactly a ringing endorsement. But I suppose we're out of options. Apollo, can you restart the reactor from here? Negative. The failure is mechanical. Someone will need to enter the core. I suggest a division of labor. I'll talk you through the repairs here while Jack brings main power back online. His radiation shield should offer adequate protection. I don't suppose there's another option? Many. But their odds of success are... One of the access vents leads to a main artery of the electrical grid. If you follow the conduit there, it should lead you to the reactor. Captain Rhodes, there is a utility hatch behind you. Inside you will find the main power distribution block. Acknowledged. On it. All right, Jack. I'll see you on the other side. We need to complete those repairs, Jack. Head for the reactor.
The power supply here is unsalvageable. I'll splice a line in from the main power relay. The current is incompatible. You could overload the lighting array. Easily solved. We just need to improvise a transformer coil. 